Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome. Um, what a, an amazing last six months has been. I'm so glad to have my extremely close friend, John Malt, be on to tell you what it is that I theoretically thought would happen when I developed this T2 thermal device. Uh, it's so wonderful to see it doing doing what it should be doing. It's a tool. Tools don't make the craftsman, but they certainly help. So what we're going to learn today is how to build, and this is John's forte. The There is not a person in the world that will say that John is not the most ethical ethical person there is. And uh, he'll, he, he'll talk today about building an ethical um, and profitable, nothing wrong with being profitable, laser or other cash treatment practice. Um, so John's been in practice for 40 years, and he's going to share his acumen, his, his intelligence, his knowledge with you. He's going to provide uh, tips without the scripts. And that's the thing I think is the coolest is that each of you are individuals and you've got to find your own way to communicate with people. Um, he's going to, we're going to go over case studies and that's one of the best things is to show how this really works in practice. And John has a tremendous amount of experience more than anybody else, uh, on using thermal imaging with laser. Um, and you're going to be able to apply everything that he teaches to, on Monday morning, uh, so the class is really on laser, but the same principles will apply to any type of cash treatment practice that you have. And they're all, it's all the same concept. So John, um, why don't you introduce yourself? Go ahead and take over. Well, thanks, David. Uh, I hate to correct you right off the bat, but actually I just celebrated 46 years in practice. Um, I, uh, I have been using the class for laser for over 16 years. Um, on the side, I've been some other stuff. I, I have been uh, past president of the ICA. I just uh, last month stepped down as president of the World Federation of Chiropractic in Montreal. I did 100,000 air miles last year traveling, talking about chiropractic and teaching chiropractic. And uh, I'm, I, I can tell you right now, I've never been as excited as I am right now with some of the new technology that's coming on. Because to me, it's not about, you know, the spiz. It's not about making stuff up. It's about presenting data. And the more that we can present data to our patients, the more they get it. It's what they want. They don't want a line. They, they, want, they want to see the data. And that's the wow factor. So that's what I'm going to be talking about with you and sharing you. And one of my favorites is you might want to watch this. Whenever I stop, the car shakes. Now, a couple of days ago, I was coming down this. Put your hand here. Oh, no. Brakes. Quarters. Calipers. It's the calipers. It's OK. Oi! Calipers! Don't you want to take out some tools or something? No, that's not how we do things here. Don't worry about it. Roy! We need data that is, is uh, that can be demonstrated objectively uh, with numbers, with pictures, so that people can see it. Not something we make up, and that's one of the things that with with the uh, with the T two that I've been so excited about. Number one, the patients get it really quickly, and number two, it's really easy to use. It only takes seconds. In fact, I really believe the T two establish you not only the value of what you're doing, and this is mainly on class four lasers. What I'm talking about right now, but also it, it establishes your expertise as a practitioner immediately. Because they see the picture. They go, oh, my gosh, there's the change. And that's the stuff we're going to be talking about, the pre and post, the kind of stuff that the patient can look at. They may not feel the difference immediately, but they can see the difference. And sometimes that's more powerful. The thing is about the T2, it's so simple to use. It's a very simple, very dynamic, very easy to use procedure. And this is a quick way that he can immediately compare his hands to the patient's hands. And so they can see it on the screen. So there's lots of different things that you can do that take no time that the patient can see immediately. I think the thing is, but doc, you know, I'm not really feeling much better. Is this the right treatment for me? Guess what? If you've done a love class, a love, enough class for laser over the years, you know that some people don't immediately respond. They may get up and say, well, I'm not really sure if I really noticed much of a difference. Wouldn't it be nice to share with them objective data that actually shows 
that you're creating functional biological change in that patient without an improve without the immediate improvement of symptoms. Well, here's a great example of it, and this is a, this is a, this is a patient of mine, 72 year old female with chronic low back pain. She came in. We did the laser. She stood up. I don't know if I feel much better. I said, well, let's take a look at the picture. And as you can see, the picture on the left is the pre, the picture on the right is the post. And she looked at that and she goes, oh, my gosh, that's me. And I go, yeah, that's you. So guess what? She stayed with the program I recommended for class for labor. Within about halfway through that protocol, after four or five treatments, she was 95% better from a chronic condition, a condition that she had had for a long period of time. So how did how does the T2 help, you know, in my decision making? Well, I think if we understand the patients we're dealing with, especially with extremity work, especially with these elbow, shoulders, uh, and even back, are they chronic or are they acute? Well, guess what? The T2 gives me that option to figure that out. So here we have a patient who came in, 47 year old, obese female pain in both knees. And I've been treating the right knee because that's been hurting, but she really wasn't responsible as, long as I wanted. So I, I got this and I took the picture and I go, oh my gosh, look at the left knee. You see how blue it is. It's, it's relative, I'm not going to say it's avascular, but it's certainly restricted in blood flow and it's cold to the touch. This demonstrated it. So what did I do? I changed my protocol from acute right knee to chronic left knee, and that's the, that's the results I got almost immediately. And because of that, she quit favoring the bad knee, the chronic knee, and the other knee began to feel better. So yeah, this is a way to direct my treatment based upon what I saw on the T2. Remember, both cold and hot areas are important. Don't assume that hot areas are the only regions we require treatment. Several years ago, Medicare did out some kind of survey, and they said I was in the top 5% Medicare providers in the world. Not because I'm that good. I'm just out here in the middle of the desert where all the snowbirds come in the winter. So I have lots and lots of old people. So we see lots and lots of chronic problems. Chronic presents differently than acute, and so does the laser protocol that you do for chronic versus acute. We need to understand that patients need to be committed. RAND Corporation determined patients, if they only recall about 8, uh, 8 to 10% of what has been said during your appointment. In other words, they'll kind of listen to you. We've all done the 20 minute you know, report of findings. And what do they say at the end of the report of findings? So, Doc, what you're telling me is I got a problem in my neck. What we need to do is show the pictures. And this is how we enforce it. We show the pictures. We show pre and post scans that they can take home. That scan is one of my patients. Okay, that's it. That's the major kind of change we see. This data reinforces their subjective improvement, supported by objective data. That's what the e scan does. And guys, I got dozens. I mean, no, I got hundreds now of pictures just like this. Not only did the patient notice immediate improvement, but guess what? The T2 imaging told them it wasn't all on their head. It gave them an objective picture evaluation to where they could go, wow, reinforce what they were feeling and reinforce what it was doing. So that's all about what we do with the e-scan. It's just a way, and not only do that, it's just reinforcing to them. How many of you have had patients where the wives go, my husband says I'm crazy or my family says I'm crazy because I really don't have a problem. And immediately you can show up. They can show their family, no, look, this is what's going on. I love this e-scan feature. The idea is, is that what about the skeptics that claim it's, it's, it's just a heat treatment and that's all this is about? I want you to know this is a real patient of mine. This guy's had multiple back surgeries. He was injured again. And he flared up. He had to go off work. And I said, you know what? Let's, let me laser your spine. So I actually did his thoracic spine. Okay, and he was a nine out of ten on his VAS. This guy's in bad shape, right? Look at the picture on the left. That's pre-treatment. Now, if laser was nothing more than a heat treatment, we would expect what? We'd expect it to get hotter. We'd expect to see more color. Notice the post-treatment on the right. It chilled him right down. The only relief this guy was getting was from class four laser. And 
I was kept on thinking, you know, when I got this, what am I showing here? What I'm showing is I'm taking a, a relatively acute malaise throughout the entire spine. We're lasering the thoracic spine and look what happened. So it's not, class four is not a heat treatment. I mean, and if you've been doing laser for a while, you've probably heard that. The answer is eh, not true. And this is and this is a test that can support that. So the deal is, you know, we said, you try to tell me I need a laser treatment, but my primary did a blood test before starting treatment. Why do you need to evaluate the need for treatment to track my progress? Why? Because we want to see it. Guess what? This was a this was a young person who was in an auto accident. They had x-rays taken. There was no fracture. They still had pain. It was all shoulder pain, but you notice that the pain was actually radiating from where? From the neck. So what did we do? We we we, we did a class four laser, not only the neck, but the shoulder, and immediately knocked that kid's pain down that quickly. So they're seeing the x-rays. The doctor says, well, they can give him some pain or do nothing, but the kid was still in pain. Guess what? We validated why this kid had needed to do laser. The same thing is that, understand, parents get a little skeptical. And laser therapy is not treat. And guess what? Most insurance companies don't cover it. So it's a cash procedure. You need to do stuff to reinforce to them that what you're doing for their child is actually helping the child. Again, that's where the e scan comes in. Now, this was a high school wrestler. He had a shoulder injury over the weekend. His dad brought him in because the dad had been uh, lasered on some stuff. We did the class four laser on him. Even though the immediate range of motion only increased about 20% and he still had some pain, based upon the pre and post treatment, uh, T2 picture, the dad said, well, I don't care if he's only 25% better. Look at the redu reduction in inflammation in the shoulder. Can I get him back in tomorrow? So, again, that's a way. And that was the, I mean, the dad saw it and said, oh, no, we got to continue with this. Why? Because he could see the magic. He saw what took place. Same things with most orthopedic surgeons are going to tell, good orthopedic surgeons are going to tell a patient, if they need a knee replacement, come see me when you can't stand the pain and you can't walk on your knee. As long as you can tolerate the pain and be, stay mobile, we don't want to do a knee replacement surgery. Guess what? That's what the T2 does. It demonstrates that we're knocking down the pain and giving that patient an option. Here's a great example. Another heavy lady, she was waiting on a knee replacement surgery. She had to lose 60 plus pounds before they were going to do the surgery. She came in, we lasered her knees. But again, remember chronic, look how dark blue that was. I mean, we're talking pretty cold, right? Put it on the chronic treatment, treated both knees. And all of a sudden she started feeling better. Uh, and now she can exercise and now she's lost 30 pounds. So she's halfway to getting to that point before, if necessary, she can still follow through with her uh, knee replacement. This is the other thing that I've seen, and I heard a thing a long time ago, I forget who actually said it, it says, don't think of your body as a bunch of different parts, think of it as a swimming pool. And like when you put chlorine, when I put chlorine in my swimming pool at one end, the chlorine eventually goes to the whole pool. Well, what's interesting, when we do the laser to one particular area, have you ever had your patient go, well, gosh, you know, I know you just did my right knee. How come my left knee feels better, too? Well, we see that all the time, but I've never been able to demonstrate it. Well, look at this. This is a guy that actually just came in not that long ago. He had bilateral knee pain, significant pain in both knees. And he came in and he, I said, which is your worst knee? And he said, well, my worst knee is the right knee. And I said, okay. So we did... Uh, a knee protocol on his right knee for an acute flare-up. Look at the post. Not only did we reduce the inflammation in the right knee, look at the left knee. It all settled down. He stood up. He goes, what did you do to my left knee? I go, nothing. He goes, well, it's better. That's the kind of stuff we see. And that's the kind of stuff that justifies what we do as chiropractors when we're doing class four laser. Uh, I had somebody ask me this. I taught uh, at the state convention in California a few months back. And one of the questions I got, well, you know, I can buy one of these at Costco or something. Well, the, the answer thing, you know, the T2 is FDA cleared for medical use. The, the, the cheap camera you get from Amazon, 
it ain't cleared. You know, the whole idea is, do you want to be a professional or do you want to not be a professional? Do you want to tell your patients you're using something you got at Amazon that's not clear to work on the human body? I don't think so. So we have the clearance. The technology's there. It totally supports everything I do. And I can't tell you how what it means to have an immediate tool to justify and to support everything I'm doing when I'm doing laser on somebody. So if we want to talk more images, let them do the talking. Bottom line, you know, you demonstrate what's going on, you develop trust, you design a treatment plan, and you can demonstrate change. And you can do it in, in seconds. That's how important it is, and that's how sold I am on the T2. Uh, in fact, it was funny. After I got my T2, it was like uh, within a couple weeks, I was calling David, telling him about it, and he said, you sound like a kid on Christmas Day. And, well, you know what? That's what I felt like because something that was so easy to use, that was so easy to show my parents, patients, that I didn't have to explain to my patients. They just saw it, and they got the wow. So I'm, I I couldn't recommend it highly. David, if you want to close it off, but uh, it was a pleasure taking time and sharing with you my experiences with the T2. David? Well, thank you so much, John. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is only one teeny bit, just so you guys understand, because he gets excited. My phone is filled with text messages of, you got to see this, you got to see this. So he's got probably, I don't know, over 100 something scans and uh, I get to see them all the time. But the key to the whole thing is you don't need any tricks. It's just, you know, the patient-centered care model. People say it all the time, but do they really do it? The answer is no. You really want to focus on making people happy and healthy, and that's it. And, and it all comes back to you. Now, having tools like the T2 really help, but your intent and your desire to help people is what the goal is. This is just a tool that makes it much easier to convey that message to the patient and their friends and family, get them in. If you have any questions about it, you can email ryan at myovision.com. You can visit www.myovision.com uh, or you can call 800-969-6961. Thanks again, John. And thank you everyone. And happy scanning. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.